these papers in Dano, written by Carmen Kinsai, Italia Camacho Martina, and the third one I said, which was a Mari Pastor. In our team, some other person too, you can, we can see him uh, right here, another Jeff Iber. He's going to explain it later on our paper. Okay, so let's, uh, let's begin. And of course, uh, as uh, Mr. Iber said, of questions that uh, anybody could say or just uh, after the speech, uh, I'll be very pleased to, to answer. Introduction. Uh, Oh, sorry, I need to start to present myself, but I don't say its name is, yeah? It's Health Information and Youth, Challenges in the Internet Era, yeah? What progress and technologies uh, are supposed to do in order to um, inform, inform young people about uh, health issues and health concerns that they, they may have, yeah? So, you know, my introduction will be this. Everybody knows that uh, during the last years, Information about the health issues has acquired a big important relevance uh, for all persons, but I would say our work uh, among young people, adolescents, or teenagers. Yeah. We could say that internet has opened a new era uh, in this communication of health issues and fields. Yeah. And uh, we got what Sarah in Gunther Heisenberg is author called uh, e-health or electronic health. It's a new field. It's a matching field uh, in the intersection of medical informatics, public health and business, always referring to health services and information delivered through the internet and related technologies. It's a new, a new, a new way to, to, to inform, yeah? Some years ago, before the internet was uh, so, so active, we say that people who wanted to get informed about uh, health information or such things, they, everybody goes to the doctor, of course, but they go to the library, to books or such tools. But today we got a, a new tool, it's called Internet and the New Technologies. Uh, young people's familiarity with new communication technologies has promoted uh, the access of this segment of population to this kind of information available always in the Internet. Yeah? Uh, the data we have, we say that in Spain, almost 23% of the users who search, or can search health information in the internet are people between uh, 15 and 24 years. So this research has taken people from this age and we have divided them into two groups. Uh, the first one would be adolescents from 12 12, uh, 17 years old, and then the second one, 18, 24, yeah? So the creators of web pages with health information, they already know it, they got a big responsibility when they are sharing information in the web uh, for young people. For that, I would call for young people because they are still in the way to 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 publicly published, yeah? And this study considers this trend and explores, explores the, the reasons that stimulate the creation of these types of web pages or sites and analyzes the objectives of the web creators. The objectives and the hypothesis of this research, um, I would say the research aims to explore the, the nature of the health websites focused on teenagers and young adults how they are created, which their purpose are, how they work. It will help to define the code of conduct. Yeah, the codes of conduct are defined as sets of quality criteria that provide a list of recommendations for the development and content of these websites. Yeah? This is the definition given by Petra Wilson. And the hypotheses are three, the following ones. First one, online health information plays a key role in health education for young and teenager mm, people, both girls and, and boys. No? Second one, communication paradigm of health information has evolved from an unidirectional model to a mm, bidirectional one, to a bidirectional model. Yeah? First one was vertical, now they yeah, are such an interactivity between both of them. Yeah? And the third one, the lack of uh, the lack of resources and the structure of the sites, 
hinder the objective, the main objective of the institutions to reach in a more effective way the users that actually consume health information. Let's see, methodology, methodology and research. We just did six interviews with people responsible for health websites, people who belong to either uh, public uh, institutions or private ones, and to media too. Yeah. They were taken from a preliminary list. Uh, so long list I don't remember right now how many how many people were there but at the end we did select uh, six of them. Yeah. And why? Because in our own opinion they stand out because of the educational work in the area of health information, specifically for, for young people. Yeah? And the selected uh, websites uh, at the end were six, as I said, uh, public institutions, the past government and uh, people from the health department of the past government is uh, taking uh, this responsibility to, to build to build this uh, website for young people, then the government of Navarro, and private institutions, we got EDEX, Social and Educational Organizations, it's an organization from Bilbao, it's already uh, more or less 30 years old, so with a long tradition in this field, and then SEMA, CEMA, Spanish Society for Adolescent Medicine. Yeah. Um, so in the media, the media got two, El País, well-known newspaper of the país and the website called Taking Teresa is a website of general information and they also talk speak about health. Yeah. The next step of the methodology was to prepare the questionnaire of the interviews. Uh, we sent a lot of uh, questions. Uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, we are four, four persons in this uh, research team. So, we wrote a lot of questions and at the end we agreed about a total of 58 questions to be sent to all these persons. Yeah. The interviews had these common questions, but uh, for all people of course, but they were carried out uh, in an individual way. Yeah. Each people answered the questions individually. So, yeah. And the questions were divided into four, four sections in order to analyze the websites. First one it will be the purpose, which purpose they got when they created a new website or yes, a tool for young people in order to inform them about health issues or health concerns, criteria, contents and operation. Yeah. And the research, results, uh, the first one of purpose. Uh, they are taken, of course, from the answers these six persons gave us. Yeah? So, uh, one of them was given by Emilio Navarro from the website Tinteresa.com. I think uh, all of them, the three and all the people said they agree for uh, the main purpose of the, of the website for young people. And they see that the web, what Navarro said, webs must communicate good information about healthy habits, but, very important uh, remark, but without paternalist perspective, without paternalist attitude. And now I, I got in mind what uh, Mr. Ricardo said about uh, identification uh, to the message and people is leading it, you know. Because if you if you come with a paternalist or moralizing, we would say that's a moralizing message for young people, they probably uh, would reject it because uh, they see you as a parent, as a father, as a mother, no? and this is this no, uh, Generous and rejecting. And uh, this is very important to keep in mind when you uh, work with the young people. Uh, I still don't mind what this uh, man, uh, David Ogilvy, just an uh, advertising guru or such a thing, as he said that when you want somebody to make something or to buy something or to persuade, to seduce him or her, you have to speak his own language. You have to go to his or her own mind, and this is the way you can achieve it. Otherwise, it's, uh, you will always uh, do it fail. So, uh, another purpose, but on the same way, we will provide health information which is interesting, easy to understand, and which help young people to make decisions about habits and behaviors and about their own life. Yeah? 
is said by Antonio Merolo, the pediatrician and the responsible for the web of adolescent cinema. And in the same way, I mean, education life skills give priority to educational focus, but once again, without moralizing, without moralizing. The criteria. Uh, Emilio de Benito is responsible for health uh, pages in El País uh, newspaper, in both print uh, edition and online edition. And he said to us that information for teens and young people must be communicated by means of a gradual process, taking into account the physical, psychological, and also emotional development of young people, adolescents in this uh, case. No? Uh, he said that, uh, for instance, uh, this gradual process should begin from uh, 12, 12 years until they are uh, 17, 18. <coughs> At the age of 13 or 14, they start to desmitify people, parents, uh, things that they see around. They desmitify them, and at the same time, they get stronger with the own personality. They are building it, you know. But uh, this is a gradual process. Then, at, he said, at 40 years old, something like that, when they will be later, or who knows about maybe later. They start to have uh, sexual relationships, uh, sexual intercourse, and um, to connect with drugs too. It, uh, and this is a very important issue, and uh, we, should be, uh, we should be aware of it and take care of it. And then 17 or 18, maybe it's too positive, I think, but he said that 17 or 18 years old, he's already the adolescent, he or she has already done his or her own way to adulthood, to manhood. Say, I don't know what's going on in today's society, it could be or not, so, but it's in one opinion. Yeah? And the uh, three specific topics for young people, very important ones, they will be drugs, both legal and illegal, eating disorders, and risks associated with unprotected and protected sexuality. This is what uh, Melero, Mr. Melero from EDEX, from this uh, organization, said to us. Yeah? Then the contents of the um, websites for young people, I mean, uh, I'm talking again about uh, El País, what they say, the most important contents, they will be the sector for this, uh, contents for this population segment, there are three, reproductive health, emotional health, and the acquisition of habits for life, yeah. The newspaper, and because the contents and how these contents are managed. Yeah, this newspaper updates information every day. And third, government of Navarra, and then we're going to see how crisis has fit uh, this type of uh, website, this information or resource. In these resources, the government of Navarra doesn't renew the page since 2012, already uh, two years without, without having set anything new. You know? So the economic situation slowed down these tax and future projects and it put at risk, of course, these projects and health information for young people and teenagers and adolescents. So the past government uh, doesn't update either every day the information for young people in the health section. Yes, they got the websites for young people, but uh, uh, Site, I think where, where, where health information is not a new day. And how they operate, separation, okay. The managers of these webs are aware of the uh, importance, the relevance of new technologies for everybody, but for, or for young people, because they, are, they got a bit familiarity with the new technologies. They use uh, either Facebook, or Twitter, or everything around. You know? Therefore, they use Twitter, Facebook, and other communication tools. And they, uh, the managers of these uh, websites say it's very important to get in contact with young people through these tools. But in spite of this, some of them are skeptical, sorry, skeptical about the real influence of health websites for young people. And, what, uh, and I agree, what uh, Emilio de Benito from El País said, Yes, we, we do it, and uh, many people, maybe in the public or private institutions, so they 
the right of the create the website for young people, but many of these young people don't pay attention to them, even don't go to them, but they go to directly to Google, to Dr. Google. And yes, Google is a big issue and a big field, but you can find everything in Google. And this is not the, the best way to get informed about health, such an important issue, you know. And what he, what, uh, he said, yeah, I doubt that young people search for specific health web pages, they go to Google. And another thing, we sometimes we forget we are focused on new technologies and such things. We are nearly blind because of that, you know. We are discovering a new, new world. But uh, what Melero from EDES said to us was that the uh, attractive support is very important but can be secondary if you don't achieve your main goal, which should be get young people informed and give them information about health. You can health information, you can uh, create a very, very vivid, plenty of life, very beautiful website, but if you don't know how to to reach them, if you don't speak their own language, as I said uh, some minutes ago, you are out. You will see like uh, yes, you the beautiful sites, but maybe you don't you don't you don't give them any information. It's secondary and it fails to communicate uh, with people, with young people. And then just to end the conclusions of the research, the main I mean there are three. Yeah. First one would be young people's access and familiarity with the internet make the network the dominant mode for institutions to reach this segment of population. Everybody uh, knows it, and every institution, either public or private, do it. They know that to contact young people, to reach them and try to persuade or to send them a message, you don't have to, I mean, maybe everybody knows somebody, I mean, just a person who actually saw in his own house the Encyclopedia Britannica, but young people, I don't think how many of them go to Encyclopedia Britannica to search for health information. Uh, the feedback breaks the traditional pattern of vertical communication and is more relevant than ever in the transmission of health information to young people. But it should be uh, improved. Yeah. Uh, the, this vertical communication now is broken and as I said before, it's now is bi-directional. <coughs> yeah. uh, uh, there is a constant need to update communication in order to reach that segment of population, but as I said, in some cases, this is not happening right now. Maybe because of the uh, economic crisis, there is no more means, and sometimes the structure itself of the website doesn't really help. Yeah. And the lack of means, it doesn't help either. Yeah. So, this will be everything, and now I just want to go to the questions. Thank you very much. For your